Hello everyone, welcome back to Rolling Solo. My name is Adam Smith. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a card game that I want to unbox with you guys and also tell you about. This is something that I experienced at Gen Con this year. I thought it was super cool, kind of was under my radar. It wasn't even really something that I was originally looking into. But when I ran into the booth, which was housing the Warhammer Age of Sigmire Champions card game or trading card game, I was very, very curious. I had heard some talk about this game and I wondered really what it's all about. There's tons of TCGs and CCGs in the past that I've avoided, mainly because they are kind of a money hog because as you go into them, you're trying to purchase cards and things like that and complete your collection in order to compete against your friends or just anyone else that you run to at your local game store. Um, with this one though, there's a different appeal to it than I've seen in prior iterations of TCGs and CCGs. And this is really cool because it's not only taking a physical card game and allowing you to sit down and play it obviously uh, with the cards in hand, but it also allows for uh, a very interesting uh, functionality with the cards where you can use an app which has an integration with your camera to allow you to scan cards and those cards have basically kind of like a QR code almost is the, the logic I'm assuming behind it. It picks up the card that you've scanned and adds it to your digital collection. So the cool thing about that is yes it's not just for you know organizing, creating decks and all that kind of stuff or keeping at least a logical order to your cards the real reason that you're scanning these cards and putting them into this app, the app is actually done by Play Fusion, if I haven't mentioned that already, of course, which I probably didn't. So again, the name of the actual card game here is Warhammer Age of Sigmar Champions, and it's by Play Fusion is the app, and so it's powered by them. Of course, War uh, Games Workshop is the uh, beast behind the actual Warhammer brand name and the brand itself, so those are the guys that created this thing. But what's really cool is that integration with Play Fusion app to allow for online play. So in other words, you take your collection and if you can't find anyone at your local game store to play the game, you have all your cards that you've owned, you scan them into the app, you literally can deck build within the app, and you can play games against your friends over using your phone. So basically it takes the TCG, the CCG model, which has been always collect the physical edition and then just hope to find the friends that will continue to play the game. It, it, dis, it just almost disregards that as the primary focus, although that's still there because that's always been the bread and butter of card games in general, especially one versus one, and now opens up a whole other world of matchmaking online where you can take your decks and play against other people. So if your friend group disperses or somebody decides to stop playing the game, you're not just left with a huge collection of cards that basically sit in a binder in the basement and never get any play. You can go online and find other people to play the game with. That is awesome because it gives longevity to a game or to a system that normally wouldn't have it. So. What I've got here is stuff that I recently picked up. I've got three campaign decks, so Chaos, uh, Destruction, and Death. There is a fourth, um, and I'm actually dropping the name in my head right now, and I cannot for the life of me remember what it is. Uh, it will come back to me, but the fourth one is the one I'm still trying to go after. Um, so I have to pick that one up, probably at the Games Workshop shop. I also got in my city the very, very last booster box available. This is a 24-pack booster box. It normally comes in a box, and it's sealed, but my particular store had them open, and uh, basically they were they were selling just the packs, but they were able to just sell them all 24 at the same discounted price as you would get it if you bought the box. So that was really cool, but I don't get the box, but that's not a big deal because I'm sure I'll have other ones in the future. So the whole purpose of this video, besides giving you a little history on what this, or not history, but just a little sum up as to how this game is uh, working. Again, remember physical and digital with this one. The reason I'm showcasing this on Rolling Solo, you'd wonder probably this is not a solo game, but in my mind, the cool thing about this is that yes, it's not solo, but you truly can play this thing solo in a way. If you think about it, if you're playing it digitally on your phone, you're technically playing alone, but just with somebody else on the other end of your app. So, I mean, yes, you're playing with someone else, but it's not like you're asking someone to come over and play a game with you. So in other words, you can play this thing anywhere. So it's got that element of solo play, at least partially anyway, and that's the reason why I wanted to show you this. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered because this would typically be, especially a TCG or CCG would normally be, a one versus one, two people sitting at a table type situation. But the fact you've got the online play 
it it definitely uh, is basically or can be catered to a solo player in that it's ready to go when you want to play anytime you want. Now the app itself also is not going to be fully functional with the matchmaking and the online play until the end of August is at least what they're saying. But now you've got the gist of the overview with Warhammer Champions. So without further ado, let's get into cracking into these boxes. I'm going to go through these three campaign decks first. Of course, one huge disclaimer, if you think you're going to uh, scan these cards because there's been actually reports of people doing this and I think it's kind of funny, but yes, the power of the app is so strong that you can even scan cards uh, through a video and actually take cards from other people and, and lock them into your collection. So what I'm going to be doing before I post this video to my channel is I will be scanning in every single card that's here into my collection. So you can go ahead and try to scan them yourself to see whether you can add them or not. But I guarantee you it's going to fail because they'll be part of my collection and locked to me. Um, there has been reports of people that have not done this and then they've put out a video unboxing and people have literally stolen the digital versions of their physical cards in seconds. So that's craziness. Uh, so always be sure if you're going to do anything with these cards, scan them in the app immediately. The app has functionality for that right now. Anyway, without further ado, let's crack into the campaign boxes. All right, so we've got the three boxes. Let's go ahead and get rid of Chaos and Death, and let's start with the Destruction one. So first, here's the outside of the box. Extremely nice in terms of artwork and stuff like that. Uh, again, it's called a campaign deck. Uh, the cool thing with this one is I don't, I'm don't. i probably not going to be the best at explaining the full overview of the game, but I, the idea behind it is you've got champions, you've got blessings, you've, of course, got like minions and creatures. But the cool thing about the game is it's got this weird, uh, interesting mechanic where you're basically not just tapping or rotating a card just once or to the side, side, but fully rotating cards to almost complete quests that each champion can go on, which then unlock blessings, which are underneath of those. And if you can think about the actual combat, and we'll see this as I unbox it, it's basically four lanes. You have four champions across uh, each of the lanes, and you're kind of fighting in uh, straight on battles, but you also have cards that can affect other lanes beside it or the whole mat. Uh, again, you have blessings along the bottom that are locked and they don't unlock until a quest that you're working on has basically been turned all the way around 360 and then it basically unlocks a blessing, which is kind of like a one time, if I'm not mistaken, one time shot at some serious damage or some serious power ups for your particular cards. Anyway, that's kind of a very brief overview, but I want to show you guys some of the stuff at the back of the box here. You've got a uh, 38 card army ready to fight, of course, is tailor made in this case for the destruction deck. You've got 13 card boosters, so they actually throw in a booster pack with this, which is cool. The destruction exclusive card, you get one of those. You also get a campaign mat, health counters, and detailed rule sheets. These are in paper form. They're not the fanciest, they're just enough to get you playing. There is a play mat, a neoprene play mat that's going to be coming to retail, as well as a health counter that's going to be also, uh, I think it's a metal, uh, it might be, I think it's metal, um, that you want, might want to pick up to kind of spruce up the game if you're planning on playing with other people in the physical version of this game. But if you're playing digital, then it doesn't, you don't need any of that. Um, and you've got uh, the complete your collection just showing you the four and here you go the one I was missing was order that was the one I was forgetting the name of that's the one I still have to pick up so they come in boxes that look just like this so this is the sides nothing too fancy but uh, does look nice artwork wise so we'll go ahead here we'll crack open the first box and see what's inside the order deck now mind you I'm probably not gonna do a very good job of opening these in a civil way because I'm planning on just moving them right to uh, I got one of these uh, archive ultimate guard boxes these deck boxes are amazing so I'll be grabbing I'll be probably filling one of these with these cards uh, just because they're super handy and uh, likely will fit my entire collection because it's not that big right now uh, so here we go we've got ourselves a pack we got some rules and also we got we probably have a sealed deck of cards so if you can see down the bottom there um, some of that stuff was sitting inside here but it looks like the deck cards is just sitting like so so you've also got some tokens and I believe these are health counters that are specific to the type of deck you have so that's kind of cool um so we got the booster we'll open that up last we've got the rest of this stuff so first off let's talk about the paper in the game so obviously you've got yourself the quick rule so this is going to be important for you to go through uh to learn the game it folds out like so so i'll give you guys a little bit of a close-up so there's the uh, objective of the game you've also got the champion cards and how they look some of the symbology on the cards and then you've got uh, some blessing cards. So it's breaking down every card. It's showing you everything about them. Uh, if you unfold this thing, it looks like... I think there might be a little bit of a 
there we go. It just got hitched there when I was unlocked on opening it up, but it's a it's a decent sized thing. But basically, it runs from up here. Uh, this is going to be your uh, playing the game guide. So it goes down to placement. It moves up to moving a champion, taking turns, all the way through. So this is going to give you the solid run through of the quick rule version of the game. On the very back here, you've got uh, even more, but this is going to give you a lot more visuals in terms of the symbology and the icons. So you've got things like, here are the different types of cards that you can potentially have. So like, remove, heal, damage, ability, spell, unit, or I should say each champion has four quest objectives in their corners, and these are the types of quests I guess you can go on, so I'm a little off there. Again, I played the game on Gen Con a few times, I actually only played, I think, a total of four times. I was super hooked. I started playing it and the gameplay is so fluid and just makes logical sense and it also didn't take long to play. It just captured me and I was like, this is going to be so much fun to play a digital version of this. Not only that, just being able to connect with friends online at any point in time in the world and play the game, so I'm super excited about that. Um, it, otherwise, I would, I'm just going to be totally honest, if this didn't have a digital side to it, I wouldn't have touched it with a 10-foot pole. So the fact it has that digital element in it has far and away sucked me back into this, because I used to love TCGs and CCGs, and uh, I found that uh, over time just getting, the, getting another person into the room, especially with all the time you spend deck building, it's harder than it sounds unless you're very, very adamant about getting to game shops to play. So anyway, you got the whole rundown of quick rules here, so there's not too much more to show you there because I'd have to show you very, very close up, zoomed in shots, which really aren't going to help you learn the game through an unboxing. That's not the purpose of this video. But there you go. That's what the rules look like. The next up's the actual mat. So this could be kind of cool. So I should probably move a couple things out of the way here, and we're going to actually fold this out because it would be nice to have a backdrop and I'll also show you guys what your player mat looks like. And of course, you're only going to get one because... Each campaign deck is going to supply you with one. Now remember, you can actually pick this up as an actual neoprene mat soon in the future. So here we go. That's essentially what it looks like. So you got the Warhammer Champions logo down here. Again, it's very shiny and it has crinkles all through it because it's paper, of course. But I'm definitely getting that neoprene one. Way up here in the top corner, which is kind of hard to see. I'll show you guys a zoomed in view of this. You've got the champion quests here. So this is going to be like a list of the champion quests. Your health tracker is obvious on the outside. Um, you've got underneath it, you've got highlighted cards. So this is going to show you kind of how these symbology on the cards, how they actually work. Are they talking about allies? Are they affecting allies on either side of you? Are they attacking enemies across the way uh, at your opponent? Are they engaging every enemy, some of the enemies, that type of thing? So I'll explain there. On this side, you've got special unit tags. So you've got like uh, different units and how their tags look like. And then the most important part when you're learning the game is the start of turn, the battlefield phase. So it's gonna tell you like what you're supposed to be doing. Like in this case, you're gonna be rotating blessings, passive effects, then you're gonna discard exhausted spells, trigger one-off spells, here's your action phase in terms of playing a card, using a heroic act, and then drawing. So it's, it's very quick paced, it's not a very, um, it's not one of those games you're going to be sitting around uh, kind of wondering what to do. I found I was moving very quickly with my decisions, which I loved. And that's what kept the game moving quickly. So another reason I got hooked into it was there wasn't too much uh, downtime between turns. Basically, if you're pre-planning for your next turn, you were able to uh, do your turn as soon as the other opponent was done. I found that really nice. So again, you've got the cards, which are cool and we definitely want to crack these open. I'm going to show you how nice these are because the backs of them are phenomenal. Um, they actually went ahead and they kind of put some UV coating, I believe, on the backs of these to give them a little bit of a shimmer. So that makes them look really nice. Um, I'm going to do my best here not to destroy the cards as I cut into them. And I also want to show you guys the health counters and the tokens. So let's see here. There we go. So we're getting into the plastic here. Uh -huh. Been waiting a while for this, and to be totally honest, I truly regret not um, picking up the mat when I was at Gen Con, because I had the opportunity to and I didn't, and I really should have, I very much regret it. Um, so here we go, here's the, uh, this is going to be the um, the deck currently has destruction. So this is one side, and you kind of have like an alternate art side if you want to use a different side. These tokens are basically used right here, tracks along your health. So obviously you start, your health will usually end up being somewhere 25 and above in that range. And then they kind of, it basically starts dropping down the track as you're getting hit. You can also heal, of course. So here is the deck for destruction. Now, another thing to note, I am very, very bad at knowing which ones are rare and which ones are 
not, or I, which ones are rare, which ones are uncommon, but I'm gonna guess by the symbology on the cards that I might be able to determine that. I don't know. So, oh no, there's an R, so that's gonna help me. Okay, so this is gonna be right here, the very first card. This is the, look at the artworks, very, very cool. And so, as you can see here, this one is a common. There's a C right there, so that lets you know that this is a common card. So I've got two of them. I've got a Bone Splitter Shaman, which is an uncommon. So there's one right there. Uh, I've got a Mega Boss on Mao Crusha. And he, I think, is a rare. Yes, he's a rare. So that's awesome. And this is a champion. So just so you guys are aware, these are going to be like your main guys. So you can see on the mat here, you've got areas for your champion. So your champion will sit like this. You'll have a blessing underneath of it. You'll have an action above it. And you're playing typically your actions up here. And usually they're minions or their attacks, their abilities, that type of thing. You have your champions on this line, which are basically holding down the fort, which are each lane. And, of course, you have uh, quests and stuff like that you can deal. You've got uh, blessings down below. These are locked. Typically, blessings come into the game, and they're upside down. So they'll be like this. And you won't know what they are until this card basically rotates all four positions completely around. And when it rotates fully, uh, and it's going to be not the champion that... Oh, sorry, it is the champion that rotates like that. Once the champion rotates all the way around, it unlocks the blessing, if I'm not mistaken. And, again, I probably need a refresher on the rules themselves, just because I haven't... Uh, I haven't, I've only played a handful of times myself. So we've gone through this, we've gone through this, that's this guy, we've done the Bone Splitter. Here's another guy, the Renewed Warlust card. This one is a common. Uh, this one's Might of Gork. Smash and Bash, this is another common. Uh, Ushering of the Hua, if I'm even saying that correctly. Uh, this one's interesting, it's an E. I don't know what that stands for. Maybe that's a special edition card or something that has to do with the campaign deck that's the generic starting deck. You got a couple brutes here, and these ones are units that are considered common. The shield bashers. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, this one here is the another shield basher, common. Uh, this one here is common. Another common. So again, because it's a campaign deck, you're, you're not going to expect to be ripping through rares like nobody's business. This is supposed to give you that base beginning set, right? So it's going to give you a structured deck that you could literally play with right out of the box. There is a rare... So we got a rare, it is the Crowded Wolf Chariot, and this is a unit, actually. So that's cool. Uh, there's also uh, foil cards in this game, but I don't believe they come in the starter packs. I could be wrong, though, but that's an uncommon. The Stomping Mao Crusha, that is a common. The Mob Rule is a common. The artwork on the cards, too, is really, really good, as you can see. So quite happy with that. Champion, or sorry, common. So here's spells. You're seeing spells are coming in. So if you look at the keywords as the cards go by, you'll also notice the different types. So you got Uncommon here. This is an ability. It's a wizard. So again, there's certain uh, game rules that apply to wizards versus champions versus different things. Obviously, a, a wizard can cast spells. I don't believe a champion can. So there's things, restrictions like that that just make logical sense. Um, some more commons, Rallying Cry. The artwork's awesome. Like, I really, really like it. It's very, very nice. Um, no complaints at all. The cards are also nice. I'll show you the backs of the cards here in a second. And I'm also, just so you guys are aware, I'm going to adjust the lighting a little bit. I'm going to adjust it just a tad so that the bottom of this video gets a little bit more bright. Because there's a little bit of a shadow thing going on. This thing right here is a scannable card. So if you guys go ahead and scan your screen, basically, this is actually something that will not only give you guys in-game points in the digital app, but myself as well. So this is something that if you're scanning, then it's uh, it's helping me out, plus it's helping you out. So it's kind of like a, it's called a booster card, and every single one of these decks has one, and basically people can scan them, and then once they're scanned, uh, they're, you know, they're fully able to, uh, to accumulate whatever it is that's inside of the app, I guess, which might be unlocks or something. Uh, destruction campaign deck reference, so that's nice, gives you an idea of all the different deck keywords you have to become familiar with, and all that good stuff. So here's the back of the card. I want to show you the actual, the actual care they went to with these cards. Look at this. They've got that UV coating on the back to make them look just phenomenal, so that everything just kind of pops. It's got that raised effect with the, uh, the printing, and that just looks awesome. That shimmer is incredible all the way around, so... Very happy. The attention to detail on that is very nice. Of course, when you get foil versions of these, even better. So, that is the destruction deck all the way through. So, what we're going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to now crack into a booster deck for this particular one. This is the first booster I've ever cracked into, so I'm very excited. There should be a foil in here. 
The actual uh, packaging itself is extremely shiny and reflects pretty much everything. The artwork is very, very cool. If you guys can see that, uh, there's the back of the car of the actual. And the other thing too, look at this, the AUG, uh, 13 augmented reality training cards. I don't know how that's going to work, but within the app, the other really cool thing of the card game is apparently the augmented reality is maybe going to make the actual, my guess would be, is that, uh, I don't know for sure, but maybe when you're playing the physical version, you can put your phone over top and these things will move or something. I don't know how that's going to work exactly, but I don't know if it's in the app or outside of the app, like using your phone, that that augmented reality kicks in. So I'm not 100% sure how that works yet because it hasn't been implemented, but at the end of the month it's supposed to be. So I guess I'll find out, or maybe when I go into the app and I start scanning these cards in before this video goes up, I'll figure that stuff out. But let's go ahead and crack into the very first pack together and see what we get. Oh man. Here's hoping it's a good pack, because this is the very first one I've ever opened. So I don't know what to expect here. So, here we go. Starting off with the Twisting Screamer. Okay, so this is going to be a common. Alright. Then we got the pack of blood letters. These guys are just beautiful individuals. You'll notice that there's markings on all, all sides. That's because the way the game works, as I mentioned before, it's all about moving your cards around. So certain times you're going to move them around, there won't be anything there. And it's kind of like a delayed thing. And then other times there's going to be something here that deals damage, that type of thing. So it, that's kind of how the damage is dealt when it's turned around. So pack of blood letters. Uh, the waiting light. Is this one a... It's a common as well. Storm strike. Uh, oh, that's cool. Is that a common? That is a common, surprisingly. That's got some really cool artwork. I like that. I'm going to have to go a little slow just so you guys can actually see the cool artwork. Nice. Is this a unit? Yes, it is. We must be getting close to the good cards here. It's another common. This is the Crypt Shield Black Knight. Uh, the Wah Champ Chanter. That is your uncommon. So we got one uncommon here. And, oh, Bloodthirst. Is this an un is it uncommon? So my rare is probably coming up very soon here. Boom, Surge of Justice. This is an uncommon. Oh, do I get lucky and get a foil? Mosh Pit is my rare. Nice. Okay, three damage to your opponent. Increase this by the support of, of the highlighted unit. Discard the top card from your opponent's deck. That sounds powerful, and it's a nice warrior card. I like that. So that's my rare. So I should still have a foil coming. Uh, we got a common here. Blood Throne. Very cool. And then we've got Savage Loyalty. That's an uncommon. Where is my... There it is. Now check these foil cards out. So awesome. Now let's see. This is a... It's just a common one. But man, do they ever look so much cooler when they're foil. So there's the artwork on that. You got the... Of course, the shimmering is, is vicious because of the lighting. But these cards are super, super nice. So they'll give it a little bit of a further back shot so it's easier to see. Really, really nice. And of course, again, with the UV stuff on the back... Fancy, fancy card. Even though this is a common, it still just pops and looks beautiful. It even looks like a mirror. I think it's seeing a little bit of me in the background. But that's very cool. The Crypt Infernal uh, Courier, I guess. Or Kirch. <laughs> I, I think I, yeah, I definitely butchered the same. Actually, you know what? That's a champion. I'm really surprised by that. So that's a foil champion. That's something that I might actually end up getting out onto the game board, even though it's a common. So that's pretty cool. So there we go, there's the first pack done. So uh, now I guess what we'll do is we'll move into, and I'm gonna adjust the camera now that we're finished with the destruction deck, we're gonna move into uh, the next deck, which I think we'll start with death. All right, we're back and we're gonna open up campaign deck death. All right, so we're gonna get a brand new play mat and different tokens for this deck, of course. So just bear with me as I crack this one open. And we'll get another pre-assembled deck with another booster. So some of this stuff we don't have to go over again because we already got the gist of it. But here we go. Booster is cracked open. We've got a pile of cards. And it looks like the tokens for this one are actually very similar on this side. So maybe that's another reason why there's alternative art just to kind of differentiate things even more so. you got that booster. You've got yourself another rule book, which of course I'm not going to go through with you guys again because we've already done that. But that's good to have multiple quick rules if we're playing with other people. We got a brand new mat, so let's go ahead and open the mat up. Again, it's not going to be the same shade, even though it's just paper, it'll have a different look to it. So that's fantastic. So at least uh, 
no matter what campaign deck you choose to pick up, you'll see that the artwork has changed even in the corners here. We've got skulls, but on this one over here, there was none. So it's just a little bit of extra flavor. Plus there's a watermark image in the background that might be really hard to pick up on camera because of all the sheen and the shine here that actually adds into the uniqueness. Then of course we got a booster pack and we got a set of cards. So without further ado, let's crack into the cards, see what we get. This is what I'm excited for. I've also adjusted the lighting a little bit, so we should be able to see the cards at better angles now. There should be less glare and, or I shouldn't say glare, there should be less uh, darkness on the bottom half of the cards like there was in the last uh, campaign box opening because that one uh, was a little dark and I didn't like it as much because I had to keep positioning the cards the right way. Whereas I think this time we're gonna have a much easier go at it. So, let's see here, cracked this. I'm gonna have some serious scans. So the cool thing about the scanning too, just so you guys know, it's not a painful process of essentially, you know, one by one scanning every single card in. You can, I think you can actually lay out a, like as many cards as you want and just scan over it with your phone. And I, I might even do a little example of that during this video at the very end to show you what it actually looks like because I can actually do that in real time through the apps. You can actually see it in action, which is really cool. Um, okay, so here we go. This is gonna be the um, death box. So you can see now it's a much sharper image. You guys are able to see everything quicker. Um, of course, we still have to zoom in a little bit quicker or a little bit uh, closer, sorry, to see whether it's common or not. But this one is a skeletal champion. This one is a skeletal champion, which is common as well. Here's an uncommon, which is the hungering vampire lord. We got the vampire queen. She's rare, so there's a champion. This is probably the major champion for this particular box. Uh, common, again, these are always set. So if you pick this up, you're gonna get the exact same deck that I have for these cards. It's the booster pack that really adds in the extra flavor. Uh, the orb of immortality. Uh, Immorality and immortality. Wow, I butchered that. Uh, supernatural horror, common, murderous. Ooh, that's vicious. So these guys are all vampire y. Uh, well, they're, I mean, at the end of the day, they're death, so everything's just terrible. This kind of looks like something straight out of Arkham Horror. Sorry about the shimmer there. There's a common, another common, a Crypt Shield Black Knight. Cool. A couple of those. Freakish Crypt Horror. Yeah, this totally does remind me a little bit of Arkham Horror. There's a rare. Frenzied, it's a vampire, this is a unit, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so that's a really cool unit. Uh, another common, here's an uncommon, Charging Black Knight. Again, what I'm really cool, to, uh, what I'm excited to see is that augmented reality. Is this whole picture gonna come to life? Is it gonna be actually this creature on the table? Like, I, I don't know. I think it's just something to do with the actual artwork changing. But man, I, I guess I gotta figure that out or at least ask somebody who knows because I have no idea. I just know they've been talking about augmented reality and I'm very curious to how that's gonna work. Tactical formation, devour, another devour. So these are all commons. Here's an uncommon, the mystic shield. Very cool. Uh, the opportun opportunity strike, brutal smash is an uncommon, arcane bolt. And then of course another boost card. So this is another scannable card. So you guys can go ahead and scan this card with your uh, with your app right now, and that'll actually give me uh, a boost as well as you a boost. So it's kind of a booster card for for both of us. And then we call, we got the death campaign uh, deck reference here. So again, another nice reference of the cards, and the backs are still just as glossy and amazing as normal. So here's the death deck. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead now and place. That there, that there, and we're gonna go ahead and crack in the booster because the booster is the cool part, the part that may be different than anybody else's. So here's hoping for a really cool rare. Um, and maybe if we get super lucky, we'll get a foil rare because that would be awesome. Um, so here we go. This one right here is called Blood Hunt and it is a common. Uh, while the Infusion, this is a common as well. Jaws of Death, look at the picture on that, that's awesome. This one is a common. Barrier Guard, also a common. Mob Rule, this is another common. Another common here is the Paladin Decimator, that's cool artwork. Gore Chompa Brute, okay, is that an uncommon? That is an uncommon. Uh, the Searing Light, that's a spell and it's uncommon, cool. Oh, is that a rare? No, it's uncommon. It's a skeletal warriors. I like the that's really cool looking. 
There's some interesting icons here that you got to learn as well. These are more keywords to pick up on. Ooh, a champion. Is this my rare? It is a rare champion. Nice. Awesome. So that's very cool. Look at this thing. So this is almost like, uh, kind of, it's got like a Cthulhu vibe on this one. So that's awesome. Uh, oh, that's perfect. I got another champion rare. That's great. Uh, Blood Reaver Chieftain. I'd love to get all the champions because that gives you instant options. Another champion here. This one's an uncommon one though. Cool. Got a bunch of them. Oh, is that a common? So, so far I've gotten two common foils, but that is cool. Look at, look at that. Let me see if I can get this to focus. There we go. That is pretty awesome. I like that. Okay, there we go. So there's that pack that came in with that one. All right, now we're gonna go to the Chaos deck, which is the last one. Of course, I don't have the fourth one order, but I will be trying my hardest to find it. I believe I've checked a couple of Games Workshop stores around me, and I believe that uh, they do in fact have it, um, but it may not last very long. So here's another booster. Uh, deck of cards in this one does not want to come out. It's actually in the very, very bottom. Let's see if I can get it out, there we go. And of course we've got a brand new playmat and more rules. So we don't need the rules because we've already talked with them. We're gonna go ahead and move the booster and the pack out of the way. We'll unfold the next player mat. This one's likely to be, yes, it's like a red. So that's kind of cool. Nice, all right. So going in for the chaos uh, side of things, we're gonna cut into this pack. Here are the tokens, the held tokens. And of course, oh, I didn't show you guys the alternative art on the last one. So here's the back side of the last one for death and the front side. You saw the front side, but I don't think I flipped it around. Um, coming into this next deck, let's see what we get. Again, remembering that this is predetermined. So we're going to go ahead here and let's see. I'm going to have, I'm going to have plastic laying everywhere for a while here because I'm going to want to go through. So again, here is the uh, health tokens, move them over. Very nice. So again, these work just fine. Uh, you don't need the metal ones that they that you can pick up, but they I believe they'll be coming soon. So here we go for the preset deck for Chaos. We got the Chaos Champion, of course. Uh, this one is a common. Okay, we've got the Aspiring Deathbringer. I really like the Chaos look. This one might be my favorite. Whoa, that looks like something straight out of Eldritch Horror, Arkham Horror. Uh, the Bloodthirster Fury, it's an uncommon. Berserker Rage. Okay, and this one is a common. Oh, that is a cool card. Is that a rare? No, it's a common. That's a really nice card, though. Uh, Outrage. It's funny somehow, sometimes how the art can actually make the card look better than it actually is. I still don't know what the E is for. I don't know if that's like a special card, or maybe that's the specific Chaos card. I don't know. Or maybe that's just for Blessings. I have no idea. Twisting Screamer. I think we got a couple of those already. Blood Reaver. It's also common. There should be another rare in here hiding. The Gore Slick Skull Reaper. It's a common. A couple of those. Uh, the Fanatical Skull Fiend. There's another common. Get a couple of those. So again, because it's the whole purpose is uh, deck building. Um, or not deck building, but a preset deck, I should say. Because uh, you can do all the deck building that you want. Uh, and there are restrictions, of course, as there is with any card game. All this stuff is preset. I'm just looking for that last rare. There it is. So this is the Fearless something or other. I'm not going to bother trying to pronounce that, but that's a pretty cool looking character. Scorn of Sorcery. Another common. A couple of those. The Ferocious Strike. Blood Feast. A couple of those. Rejoice in the Slaughter. These look pretty nasty, I'm not going to lie. Uh, there's an uncommon for you. Another uncommon, Tactical Formation. Blood Hunt, we've seen that before. We've seen the Mystic Shield before. Opportunity Strike, a couple of them. Brutal Smash. Some of these have actually crossed over, so you can tell that some of these cards are used in both. Here is another scannable booster card that you guys can actually use your app to scan even right now if you want to, which again gives me a boost as well as you. I still don't understand how that works fully, but uh, there's the campaign deck reference cards, and that is it. Now to go to the exciting part, as I mentioned before, with the booster pack. This is where we're, and that's te that's technically the end of all the campaign decks. So we're going to be moving into booster pack insanity here in a second. But this is going to be the last booster pack that came with the uh, campaign decks until I get the order, which I hope I can get very soon. Okay, so we're going to start it off with the triumphant smash. So that's a cool card. It's an ability. 
Scorn of Sorcery, that looks pretty nasty, it's a warrior. Uh, Lightning Strike, very cool cards. Cursed Strike. It's fun too, because I'm going to go through these not knowing exactly what they do until I start deck building and start uh, merging them in with my stuff. Um, but here we go, we're going to get into the rare here soon. I'm really hoping I get lucky. The Big Stab a Crew. This must be another uncommon. They're storing the forge. That's I like that one. That's interesting. Where's my rare? Where's my rare? Is that it? No. The trends more I can't even say some of these words are crazy. Stand fast is my rare. Highlight units cannot rotate. Oh, that's cool. So uh, I think this is Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting. So I guess I'm not gonna get a foil rare in those three packs, uh, but I'm getting uh, I'm definitely getting foil commons like there's nobody nobody's business. Uh, the Hungering Vampire Lord. Is that a champion? That is a champion. And it's an uncommon one, too. I like him. That's cool. And then, there we go. This is a Fanatical Skull Fiend, and it's a common unit. So, we've got ourselves a foil of this one. That's awesome. Alright, that's it. That is it for the boosters for inside the campaign decks and the campaign decks themselves, except for order, which I'll try to pick up at a later date. Now we're going to move into an unboxing of an insane amount of booster packs right now. Alright, are you guys ready for this? This is, should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a little crazy. I'm going to move these mats up a little bit, and we're going to get into each of these boosters one by one. So without further ado, let's crack into the very first one. Oh man. Here's where I'm hoping that the foils uh, start popping rares, and I really hope that the rares I get are some of the ones that I really want. Although at this point, uh, with my first booster box, and just being that I cracked open the starter decks for the first time, I'm not going to know too much about what I'm getting until after this video, then I'll start losing my mind over some of them, I'm sure. Uh, so we got this guy here, Common, of course. Uh, Rallying Cry. Try to get this, make sure this focuses. We've had the Twisting Screamer before. Curse Strike, I've seen that one. It's another common. So commons are still good because they're going to allow me options for deck building. Um, Blood Reaver. Ooh, Sky Bolt Judicator. That's cool. That's an uncommon card. So that one's really cool. I like that. Ooh, Dark Mist. Nice. Okay. Uh, ooh, interesting. Acolyte. I'm going to probably ooing and awing a lot here. Ah, oh, there's my rare. So it's a unit and it's a, uh, it's a bird. Cool. Interesting. Crypt Infernal. Have, have we seen that before? Where's, I've got some more uncommons coming. Oh my goodness. Tides of Death. That is... That is cool. I like that one a lot. The artwork on that is so awesome. There's a ton of text here, so that's going to be some learning. And then War Chant is my, is my foil at the back. And it is a common. Oh, it's an uncommon. So that's my very first uncommon foil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uncommon foils here. Uh, I'm going to put the com... Actually, what I'll do too is we're going to separate out the uncommons and the um doo -doo -doo. yeah i'm going to separate out the rares i'm not going to bother separating out the uncommons but i'm going to separate out the the rares and the uh so the regular rares and the un and then we'll go for un uncommon or the foils as well. So we'll do three uh, separate rows, if that makes any sense. So we'll have a row here for common foil, unco um, common foil, uncommon foils, and rare foils, and then we'll have regular commons, uncommons, and rare. So this rare should actually be sitting here. We'll kind of make piles like that as we go. The rest of them, I'm not going to pull out every single... Um, uh, actually, I don't even know if I want to do that, because that's a lot of work. I'd be, I'd be breaking it all out. But I think what I'll do is I'll just pull out foils of any kind, and then just rares. So this, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I won't bother pulling out commons and uncommons as I go. That will become a nightmare of uh, slowing me down. So here we go, next next deck. Sorry about that, that was my brain just lapsing there. I was just trying to figure out how a nice way to organize this. Okay, here we go, this is a piercing shot. I think I've seen this one before, so it's a common. Uh, ooh, spider, nice. Looks extremely aggressive. Okay, um, pack of blood letters. And actually, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a quick adjustment here on my lights because I want to want to make sure that it's hitting these cards nice enough that you guys can see everything. There we go. That helps a little bit. The pack of blood letters. Pouncing Wolf Rider. It's a common. The Gore Slick Skull Reaper. Another common. Searing Firestorm. 
Gift of Change. Cool. That's an uncommon. Nice one. Uh, another uncommon, Frightful Touch. Is this my rare? No. Tactical Formation. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. That is a cool rare. Wow. I like that a lot. Okay, so there's there's a rare that can go into this pile. Jeez, that is... Don't fall off the table, for the love. Gotta sleeve those right away or get them into a binder. Um, another champion here. Common. Cool. Uh, Deathless Thralls. And then is this a... It's a common foil. Rats. Cool looking one, but... Uh, was kind of hoping for something better. So the common foils are here, uncommon foils here, foil rares, and then regular rares. Let's continue our journey through the packs. So I'm still crossing my fingers. I mean, that's a cool rare. Anytime I get a rare where it's a uh, champion, that's going to be a really good thing, especially coming from these booster packs. Because again, as I mentioned, champions are the backbone of your decks. You're picking four and bringing them into battle. So you want good champions. So uh, rare ones are definitely going to help you out. So that's awesome. A zombie dragon. That sounds fantastic. That's a common. Wow. And it does a ton of damage too. Meat shield. Okay. So that's a common. The grave call. This looks like a good pack so far. Unhold. These are a lot of ones I haven't seen yet. Scrappers. Common. Lone strike raptor. Searing light. That's an uncommon. Surge of justice. I've seen that's an uncommon. Mystic shield. Uncommon. Another rare. Pain-Induced Fury. Wow. It's a spell, though. So that's cool. So we'll put the another rare down there. Here's hoping that the foil is a rare. Common for the Healing Storm. Rallying Cry. Common foil. Ah! Worst. It's <laughs> kind of hoping for that foil rare. I know it's coming. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to show up eventually. Oh, organizing, scanning all these in. So just so you guys know, I gotta scan all of these cards in. So that's gonna be a lot of work, um, but it will be fun work regardless. So here we go. Putrid puke. That's literally disgusting. That's a common. Battle glory is a common. Uh, deadly chop. Furious strike. Meat sheet shield. We just got in the last pack. Uh, the bashers. Surprising skulkers. Start. This is a great pack so far too, actually. War Chant. Come on. Another Empower the Horde. This is another rare spell. Cool. All right. So put that down here. Uh, Spirit Torment. Favor of the Gods. And oh, an uncommon foil. That's really cool. Look at that. That one is awesome looking. I think I've, I can get the eyes to like. So the I, it's bad because the the light will hit it and ruin it a little bit, but you can see the eyes kind of light up. That's an awesome card, sneaky crotch. I mean, it's only an uncommon, but that's still really cool. It's not a rare, but it's still nice regardless. So there we go. Moving right along to the next one. Do yeah, I definitely have my work cut out for me in terms of scanning. That's for sure. All right, this one is the blue flame for a spell. It's common. The Soul Stealer, Ethereal Horde, Blood Feast, sounds delicious. I've gotten this one before. Reckless Juggernaut, that looks cool. That's a common. Born from Blood, this is an uncommon. Nice. Soul Feeder, this is an uncommon as well. Skeletal Legion, another uncommon. Woo! That's a champion, guys. Look at that. A rare champion. Pretty awesome. Coven Throne. Vampire. So this guy's gonna go right here. I'm gonna make sure I put them in the right piles. Okay, what is my foil gonna be? Is it gonna be a rare? Am I lucky enough? An uncommon? Ooh, another champion. Very nice one, too. Ooh, a unit. Is it a common? It's uncommon. That's good. Acolyte Scroll Bearer. So that's good. So, so far I've had more uncommons than commons for foils. Still haven't seen a rare one yet, but I'm sure. You know, because I think I think what's really cool is that foil card is kind of like a rare or, or a wild card in these packs. Is that if you get a rare, I think you get two rares. I think, or maybe it just makes your the rare that you have foil. I don't know how that works. So once we once we see a pack like that, we'll we'll know for sure. Scrappers common, bat swarm, demonic fury, righteousness, deadly chop, blood sacrifice uncommon. That's cool. Got that one already. There's my rare, Trampling Grunta. Okay, so we'll put that into the rare pile. Moving right along. Fortune. Hungering, we have this one from before. Unit. Common. Ah, worst. Okay, it's a Crypt Ghoul. 
All right, going on to the next one here. Okay, I don't know how many packs we're in right now. We've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We still have 17 packs plus the one I'm opening now. So we're on, we're on like the 18th pack or something. So there's still tons of cards to go through. Uh, Warding Light. That a, that I saw an R for a second, got me excited. Comet Strike, cool, these ones are different. Um, yeah, this is a pack that I don't think I have. Eh, there's a few of them I might have had here. Light of Sigmar, there's an Uncommon. Summon Demon, or Demon. Sanction, yes, yes, awesome. That is cool, and see the, the U, that's a unique champion. So I got Keldrick, the Knight of Shrouds, as my rare, that's awesome. So I'm going to put him down here. Oh, yeah, that's the right spot. And then uh, another Chaos Champion. This one is a common one, though. And then we've got a Savage Boar boss and a common Grave Call spell. Okay. So the common uh, foils are piling up a little bit. I think we've got five in there now. Uh, nope, four. Four and three. So four common foils, three uncommon foils. Next pack. Arcane Bolt, Hellfire Blast, Destructive Liberator, Cursed Strike, Triumphant Smash, Blood Reaver, Rejoice in Slaughter, Scatter the Forces Uncommon, Mystic Shield Uncommon, Celestial Prosecutor is a unit and is rare. So there is my rare. Very cool. Uh, Divine Blast. Ooh, nice, uncommon. Bloodthirst of the Unfettered Fury. That's a long title. Hey, hey, rare, check it out. We got our very first rare. So we got two We got two rares in that pack. I have my first rare foil champion. Aspect of the Sea. Very, very cool. That is awesome. Yes, I knew it was possible. <laughs> Eventually. So I got a double rare pack. Those are huge because they're going to give you that extra rare, which is amazing. So now we're going to move into the next pack. That was a good pack. Hopefully there's many, many more of those ones. I, that's what I love to see. Those are like a, a freebie. Uh, the Starving Flesh Hounds, the Stomping Malcrusha. That's, that is cool looking, that artwork. I like that. Battle Glory. Round is Crypt Ghoul. We've seen that. Paladin Decimator is common. Uh, Grimgast Reapers is a common. Uh, this is an uncommon Blood Warrior Berserker. That's cool. Restoring the Forge. Gore Choppa Brute. Call of War. Another rare spell. Man, I'm hitting those spells like crazy with the rares. It's really good, I guess. Uh, Champion Skeletal Champion. That's a common. Uh, the Grot Boss. This is an uncommon champion. And oh, are you serious? I got another. Oh, this one's a common. I thought it was a rare. I got extra excited, but even that, it's a champion, it's a common one, so that could likely see a lot of playtime too, so that's cool. I will go into the common pile. At least it's a champion, so that's good. Um, Alright, moving right along to the next pack. So far, so good. So far, I'm liking this. This is uh, kind of bringing back the good old days of the Star Wars CCG and stuff like that when I was opening up those po uh, packs. It's pretty exciting. I'm going to be interested to see how many cards I've actually accumulated. I think there's around 280 in this set so far. So it'll be interesting to see how many of each and what I've got. Show off Grotz, that looks new. Serve and Death, that also looks new. Uh, we've The Ceremony, I'm not sure if that's new. Rare, Spell, Black Hunger. Are you serious? Again, spells. I'm just getting tons of rare spells, like non-stop. Uh, common, Uncommon, Cruising for a Bruising. That's awesome. I just like it just from the name alone. A Unit, Strike Force Liberator. It is a common foil. There we go. Okay. Cool, cool. Moving on to the next. Let's see what we got here. And let's see. I don't know. We might be getting close to halfway now. I think there's. I'm not sure. Arcane Bolt, Crypt Shield, Black Knight, Ferocious or Furious Strike. I apologize if I'm saying these words wrong because I am reading really quick and just glancing at them. Uh, Grimcast Reapers, Charging Blood Crusher. Oh, that's very awesome. This is a common still. Skeletal Warriors, is, there's the uncommons. Frightful Touch, that's new. Ooh, Flamer, definitely new. 
Unit, here's my rare, I got a rare unit, the Griff Charger Pack, cool. So there's something different, finally not a spell. Uh, we got a, a champion, this is going to be probably, an, oh it's a common one surprisingly, looks looks better. Champion, here's an uncommon, Lord of uh, Change. And then a blessing, uh, a common blessing foil. That's pretty awesome. The foils are really interesting. And again, I don't know how the, like maybe the augmented reality has something to do with the foils, like I could be out to lunch on that one, I'm not sure. So right now, after this pack I've got in my hand, we've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So after this pack, we're literally halfway through the box. So, so far so good. We've had, was it two packs that had rares in it? No, I think one pack that's had a foil rare. So hopefully we get more, because those are almost, those are just doubling up the rares real quick. Pink Horror Conjure, that looks like something I don't have. The Feast of Mork, Deadly Chomp, Triumphant Smash, Scorn of Sorcery, Lightning Strike, Tactical Formation, Gift of Change, Brutal Smash. Nice, a rare champion, Vanda's Hammerhand. Woo, love it. Love getting those rares. Uh, champions, Blood Reaver Chieftain, Renewed Warlust, Common. Spell, uncommon this time though. Oh, that is nice. That one really looks good. I really don't like that I hit the light battle in that, but you can see that is a nice one. So that is a foil uncommon. That's nice to get that, that uh, stack moving a little faster. And we're moving into the second half of this box. So here we go. Cursed Strike. Gaze of Mork. Putrid Puke again. Paladin Protector, uh, Zombie Dragon, that was a cool card that I saw before, Warding Light, The Chanter's an Uncommon, Enraged, that's new, that looks like a sh wow, I don't know what the heck that thing is, um, an Uncommon, Brutish Resilience, that looks new, is that another rare, oh, another spell rare, Foot of Gork, okay, so we'll put that down there, and we got uh, Blood Throne of Core. is a common? Swift Judgment's a common, and, ah, uh, I actually think I have this already. I think I had, I think that was the first one I got. No, it wasn't. Never mind. Was it the second one I got? I, oh, it's different. Good. Good, good, good. No doubles on the common foils yet, so that's good to hear. Whew, thought that was a double for a second. I was like, no, no doubles yet, not allowed. Okay, moving into the next booster pack. Still hunting for those double rare packs. I've got one so far, so... I don't know how common they are though. Usually I wouldn't be surprised if they're like one in every 10 or one in every 15 or something like that. Probably not all that common. Uh, Commanding the Dead, Brute Smashes, it's a spool. Blood Reaver, Feast of Mork, Gore Slick Skull Reaper, Glory of War, Mystic Shield, Blood Sacrifice, that's new. Cowardly Grots, nice. There's my rare. I'll add that there. Uh, Unrivaled Blood, or Battle Lust, sorry. Nice, a champion, uncommon, good. And the Twisting Screamer, common. Foil, I've seen that a few times through, but now i got a foil version of it. Alright, moving along to the next pack. Come on, double rares, where are you hiding? Let's see, Blood Feast. Storm Shield. Twisting Screamer, just got that. Devour. Future Puke, got a bunch of these already. Uh, especially the common sections. Ah, the Star Drake, I've had that. There's an uncommon. It's good for deck building at this point. Ooh, that looks new. Ooh, that's a nice rare. Fear oh my goodness, I'm not going to bother pronouncing that, but that's cool looking. Uh, massive Champa War Boss. Soul Render. Oh, yes. Oh no, I thought it was a rare. I got excited, but still, that's pretty cool. That one's got really, really nice artwork. You can try to make that look, try to make that pop. The foil sometimes is hard to make it look good, but it really does make it look 3D. Kind of have to see it from, see it in person more so to uh, appreciate it. All right, next pack. I got excited there because I was a champion foil, so I just assumed immediately that it was rare, but uh, that's a mistake. Don't do that because you'll, uh, Leave yourself room for disappointment. <laughs> Sweeping, something, 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 common. Searing, Firestorm, Ethereal Horde, Blood Hunt, Infusion, Jaws of Death, Dark Mist, Soul Feast, Rejoice in the Slaughter. Nice, 
Nice, nice, nice. There is a champion rare. I will take that. I don't think I have that one yet. Uh, the crypt internal. I got a foil of that one. Little wa, and an uncommon. Cool. Oh, that's nice. I like that. So that's an uncommon foil. Let me give you guys a better uh, view of that one. It was pretty quick. So there's the foil. It's pretty awesome. I like that one. It's it's very subtle, but it's cool at the same time. Okay, so that one is all done. We'll move on to the next one. We're down to the last handful of packs. So hoping for good things here. I mean, technically everything I've gotten so far I'm happy with because I don't have anything yet. So I'm just filling out the ranks here. So we got uh, Common Mob Rule, uh, Paladin Decimator, Stomping Mal Crusher again, Frenzied Warbor, Gift of Sigmar. There's that Born from Blood, Brutal Smash, Hungry Hellbat or Fellbats. Oh, Slashing Screamer. That's cool. It's a unit that is rare. Nice. We got the Grot Shaman Spider Rider. That's quite a long name. Champion. It's a common one, surprisingly. Uh, Blessing. And Spell. That's uncommon. Cool. That one's a nice one. Look at that. Whew. Like it. Okay. Moving right along to the next pack. Could you imagine people that are actually out there, though, buying packs, trying to get every foil? That would be a nightmare. Um, common Freakish Crypt Warrior, Shield Pink Horror, Prouncing Wolf Rider, Blood Hunt, Storm Shield, Skeletal Eye Barrier, War Chant. Ooh, I like that. Nice. Frenzied. I don't think I've gotten doubles of anything yet, so that's good news. Uh, there's another champion. This one is a common. A blood. Ooh, that's really cool. The Skull Throne. Wow. And a common Furious Strike. I've seen that one come through a couple times as a regular card. Moving into the next pack. We're coming down. We're on the sixth pack. Coming down to the tail end of this. Oop, my rares are flying off the table here. All right, Paladin Protector. Common Lone Strike Raptor Scrying Pool. I'm not even. I don't even know. Rallying Cry. That's cool. I don't think I have that one. Or maybe I do. Uh, Starving Flesh Hounds. Devour, Sweeping Gorgrunta, Blood Warrior Berserker, these are uncommons, uh, Soul Feeder, I have that, there we go, Champion, perfect, look at that, yes, okay, uh, the Sulking Necromancer, another Champion Common, a Blessing, the Cursed Altar, and a Common, Commanding the Dead, ooh, that's, you know that's a Common, that's a nice one. So you can see a little bit better, the tone is better when the light's not directly hitting it. Again, uh, the camera does not do it justice. It looks much better in, real, in, in front of you. Alright, here we go, fifth pack. Come on, double rares, where are you hiding? we got to get at least one more. Feast of Mork, Brute Smashes, The Liberator, Pack of Blood Letters, Frenzied Warbor, Figuring Chant. Uh, Crypt sh uh, Shield Skeletons, Judicator, Acolyte, Standfast. I think this one I have as a rare. Is that my first double? I don't know. We'll double check here. The Chaos Champion, the Healing Storm, and a Comet Strike. Common card. Spell, though. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the rares here. Do I have Standfast already? I don't think I do. Please say no, please say no. No, so no doubles up on rares yet. That's awesome. That is good. I don't want to waste any rares on doubles on the first box. That is for sure. Okay, fourth pack coming at you here. And here we go. Blood Feast, Starving Flesh Hounds, Return of the Fallen, Sweeping Something or Other, Reapers, Opportunity Strike, Restoring the Forge. Ooh, like that one. Glory of War. Skull Reaper Icon Bearer. Nice. That's cool. Like that. The Prince Champion is a common. Exalted Deathbringer. That's uncommon. Wow, that's cool. Oh my goodness. Look at the. Oh, yes. Scar Blood Wrath. Thank you. That is huge. Yes, 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 a double rare pack. We got it just before the end of the box. Whew. Okay, now can we really get lucky and get a third one? That's the question. Can we get a third one? 
Here's hoping. I've only got three packs to make it happen. Comet Strike, Reckless Juggernaut, Scurrying Pool, Charging Blood Crusher, Shield Bashers, Call of the Grave, Bloody Thirst, Sweeping Gorgrunta, Blood Warrior Berserker, Infernal Gateway. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Ooh, actually, I put this in the wrong spot. This is a foil rare. It's supposed to be over there. This goes here. Here's hoping. Let's see another rare at the back of this. Common champion. An uncommon champion. This is good. Oh, it's a unit. It is common. Ooh, last time I had uh, the last handful be champions like this. Like, it was champion, champion, and then I got that double rare. So, I thought there might be something to that, but there wasn't. This is a common, so it'll go in the common stack. I've got two more packs to go. Holding out hope here. Come on, let's see what happens. And then after this, guys, that's gonna wrap up this crazy long unboxing video. So hopefully this helps you see a lot about what's in the game. You saw a bunch of the different cards. Hopefully the overview at the beginning gave you a detail, or at least a very high level understanding of what's going on uh, in the game. And then of course, uh, I'm, I might be able to record a playthrough at some point. That'd be really cool. Hurricane Raptor, that's my rare. So there you go. And we've got another amazing looking common champion, the knight. Another blessing here. This is a common. Yes! Are you serious? I got another double rare pack. That's three of them. Actually, you know what? Don't I have that one already? That one looks familiar. Do I have... Is that the foil version of one I got earlier? The Coven Throne. That looks like one I got at the very beginning somewhere. I think I do have this one. I do. So that's my first double up. But at least it's a foil. So now I've got something to maybe potentially trade, I guess. Um, I don't know if it's worth keeping the non-foil versions or not. If you already have a foil one, probably not. But I don't know if they count collection-wise as a separate one. So here we go. Last deck. Can we... So that technically, even though it was another double rare, doesn't really count. But I guess it does because, you know, foils are pretty awesome. So we got three of them, so I'm going to say it counts because I still get the rare out of it. And if we get really lucky, we'll get another one here at the very end. Last pack, here we go. Bat Swarm, Strike Force Liberator, Freakish Crypt Horror, Born from Blood, Skeletal Icon Barrier, or uh, Bearer, Crypt Shield, Frenzied Devotion is my rare. That's awesome. I like the art on that one, it's kind of crazy. Knight Herald of Four Champion, oh, another champion. Ability uncommon close though close that one's nice. Okay, cool. That's it guys. That is the full unboxing I have no more booster packs left All right So I thought it'd be really cool to jump over and show you guys the actual app and how it scans cards in because I think it's really interesting um, These are all rare cards in front of you I've already scanned them and they're already added to my collection So you will not be able to scan them and take them uh, so just be aware of that I've already done all that work up front um, but uh, that's the crazy thing about this particular card game is people that have unboxed stuff and then not claim this stuff through the app, uh, at least a digital version of it. Other people have scanned the card and basically stolen that card's digital identity uh, and, and kind of how, and even though they don't own the physical card, they've taken somebody else's card uh, digitally to use in the app. So that's really something to be aware of when you're showing stuff online. Uh, very, very dangerous. Want to make sure that you've added them into your collection so that they cannot be taken from you. So without further ado, we're going to move over to the application right now. So you're going to see there's a, on the bottom in the middle of my board games thing here, I've got a Warhammer app. This is powered by Play Fusion, of course. And this is going to actually log us into the application itself. So at this point, we'll just, uh, you're kind of seeing that on screen. So we'll continue moving through the menu here. So we've got uh, my name up here. We've also got my um, my uh, unique uh, code, I guess, that they give me in order to, uh, to add other people into this monstrosity. Um, again, I'm not part of the beta, so I don't have anything here plugged in at all in terms of uh, whatever these currencies are. I got a scan cards option, I've got a play videos, early access, and card collection. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move into the scanning of the cards. This is what I'm going to show you guys how this works. So basically you click this button, and sorry for the jumbling around here as I get this position in my hand, but basically your cards are going to show up on the app, and the app is going to basically search the cards and lock them into your collection. And they all start at level number one. Uh, again, I do apologize for any shakiness because I'm doing this with my like one-handed. But this is how you're actually, uh, you know, ensuring that the cards are locked to you. As soon as it's got that, uh, those symbols have stopped loading and it's locked in at level one, then you know you've got that card uh, locked in your collection. So I'm doing this for every single one. And the first time you do this, there's actually uh, sound involved as well. So you can have the sound in the app going 
And the cool thing is you'll actually, uh, you'll actually see the, uh, the cards unlocking the sound uh, to go along with it. So it's really cool. So you can see they've obviously got a little bit of augmented reality going here. And you can scan tons of cards at once. This thing can pick up quite a bit of cards. But that's it. That was all of the cards in this whole row scanned. So I just wanted to show you. It found 18 cards. So there was uh, six and then times by three, so 18. So I got all the cards locked in, and you can see here, if you, own, you know, now it actually says owned by you for each of these individual cards. I've got auto claiming on, so the second that I'm doing this, it's automatically claiming, and then you can always recheck them to ensure that you've actually captured them. Um, but again, it's just gonna always pop up to level one as long as you've got it. So I rush while you get that weird error symbol where it'll say like, please rescan or something like that. It's usually just because it's not picking it up at the right angle. But that's pretty much it. Uh, that's that's really all there is to it. So hopefully I didn't make you too sick there jumping to the app and using that one-handed that was jumping around quite a bit. But I wanted to show you guys kind of what the app has in store for you. We also have a play video section where you can go over uh, the game overview, the introduction, the placement phase, the battle phase. You can actually watch these videos now, even if you don't own the game, to get a feel for what is uh, kind of part of this game. You've got early access, so some people are lucky enough to be playing this digitally already. Um, I have to wait until the app goes live, essentially, uh, out of its beta form at the end of this month. Um, and then, of course, you've got card collection. So once you go into card collection, it's going to be a, uh, a representation of the cards that you scanned in. Uh, you can go ahead, you can sort them by champions, you can sort them by blessings. As soon as you scan in a new card that's never been scanned before, you'll see that uh, exclamation mark. You can see one right here for an order champion, because that's the two... Uh, the two filter criteria that I have at the top there and there's this one right here So it says I just scanned this one in um, So if I take a look through my stuff here on in front of me, you can see right here There is that exact same card. So now it's a part of my collection It also keeps track of how many you have again This is for deck building purposes on the app. So very very cool again Once those are locked in and stuff like that anybody that scans uh, any of these cards through the video or attempts to it's going to show that it's owned by me uh, It's not something you guys can claim and I gotta go through all of my cards now and scan and everything from this entire video, but I thought I would just do this as a branch of the uh, unboxing to show you guys a little bit more about what the app has in store. And I think what'll be really fun at some point is I might even do a, a playthrough uh, live, or not live, but I'm gonna do a recorded playthrough on my phone and show you guys what the game plays like and the digital version actually playing against somebody else. So I think that'd be really, really cool. And maybe you guys will be interested in seeing that too. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna fire you right back to the unboxing video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I, I think it was a lot of fun. We got a whole bunch of rares here. Uh, of course, we got some foil rares on top of that. Uh, so that's even better. So we got three packs out of the entire box of 24 packs had double rares in them. So that's really cool. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, keep on rolling solo.